Before I jump into the main topic, here is an important detail. If you are preparing for a tech role, then you must choose a solid career track. Visit sandfoundry.com slash training to know more. Dear friends, uh, we will look into one more program today. And uh, this program is today uh, more on the floating point numbers actually. Okay, so let's get uh, started on this floating point number uh, problems. So if you see this particular piece of code, we have declared a variable float f and then the value is uh, 0.1. We are trying to simply compare this number with 0.1 and then we'll try to get an answer. So what you have to do is you have to see whether the answer is either a true or a false. Uh, like any other video, I always request uh, the viewers to pause the video, analyze the code, try to come up with some solution and um, try to see whether the solution is uh, correct or not by running the code okay so i think this is the best way to learn basically most of these uh, coding uh, based uh, tidbits that i am giving which is useful for your you know uh, preparation for a lot of competitive exams as well as interviews okay so when you look into this it's a pretty simple code uh, you can see that you know uh, we are just comparing the number which we have already assigned so Let's uh, pause, get the answer, and then we'll jump into the explanation for this, why the answer is the way you see it, okay? So we will run this code to get the answer now. So let's see this. And I'm also going to talk about some variations on this same floating point to have more concrete understanding of this problem, okay? So let's look into the code. Uh, code that we have written is, uh, this one, so you have a main floating F compares if it is true or if it is false, right? Okay, so we'll do a p11.c and then we do an a.out. So the answer is generally sometimes different than what we expected. So I know it is false. I'm sure some of you have made it false, but you should know the reason why it is false actually, okay? What I will do is I will prove now why it is false and in what situations it can be true, right? So we have to understand a few rules of uh, C programming language here. So let me go into the code. And in the code, I'm going to do some comments to explain the fundamentals of the C programming language respect, with respect to floating point numbers now, okay? So the first thing is we are assigning a variable float and then 0.1. So the first line is very important because when you say f equals to 0.1, what is 0.1 in C language? Again, it's a rule, Rob. it's a rule, it's a, it's a programming, right? Okay, so 0.1, you have two choices. One choice is you can treat 0.1 as a floating point number or you can treat it as a double, right? So it can be either a float or a double data type, right? So many people just assume 0 0.1 as 0 0.1. However, when you, when you see that any floating point number is by default a double data type in C programming language. It is a double data type, okay? So essentially double data type has um, higher digits or degrees of precision actually, okay? So what happens here is, when you see this value 0 0.1 is a double we are assigning a double to a float so that is very interesting to know right okay so sorry we are assigning uh, that double to a float here in this area in this line right this line we are doing an assignment okay so what the compiler will do is he will convert 0 0.1 into a very high precision 64 bit data type what is a double as you know right double is 8 byte entity so it is basically a 64 bit representation okay now this 0 0.1 gets converted to a 64 bit representation and then we are assigning into a float f f is nothing but a 4 byte data type right so float float is basically a 4 bytes data type right it's a 4 bytes so since we are assigning a higher value 64 bit into a 32 bit, there is a loss of precision. So that gets stored 
into f now the second one is very interesting if you see this there's an if condition right and then we are trying to do a comparison if x equals to y or if f equals to 0 0.1 so again the c programming rules kicks in actually okay so when you say any this is a binary uh, comparison operator so binary means there are two operands right so we have operand one and then we have a operator and then we have a uh, I'm just writing it then we have an operator right operator and then you have another operand this is let's call it operand 2 so generally when you think about any computations in a programming language the compiler has to try to match match the data types of the operator so here the operator is our comparison operator which is double equals to right so this is a float and this is a double because I told you anything without any qualifier like this in a floating point number is a double data type. So this is an 8 byte and this is a 4 byte you can see here. Okay. So the rule is the lower the lower data type gets promoted to a higher data type. Right. So operand 1 which was a float internally represented on a 32 bit entity gets converted to a double again a 64 bit entity converted in this case a promoted okay so 0 0.1 which is stored in 32 bits simply gets expanded to a 64 bit 0 0.1 okay promoted whereas when you talk about 0 0.1 0 0.1 as a pure double 64 bit type right so it's a, it means it has a more precision okay so so what we are seeing here is the one float which got promoted will not be same as the as the default double which is 0 0.1 and because if you if you remember initially 0 0.1 we save it a 64 bit converted number gets saved into 32 bit so we have lost that in precision that 32 bit simply gets promoted so precision is lost it's just that we are promoting it okay so this gets promoted to a double 0 0.1 which will not be the same as the original 0 0.1 okay with higher precision actually so this comparison will not hold true so the reason uh, and then the result will be a false right so we have to somehow understand that you know what's happening behind the scenes uh, even though it looks obvious that the answer is going to be potentially a true but in reality it is a false false data type actually okay so let's uh, uh, look into um, some more variations on this because we have to understand whether it is true or false actually okay so what we will do next will be we will uh, modify this code and add some more variations for a better understanding of this concept now okay now uh, we will modify the code and we will uh, have uh, two variations on this so the first variation you can see here is i am making it as a 0 0.1 this is 0 0.1 is a double i will convert it into a float how do we convert a floating point number as a float you can denote it by simply doing a suffix f f means this 0 0.1 is no longer a double it is a float so let me compile this code um, only change that has happened is a 0.1 f okay so when you compile this code now and run this code you will see the answer as really a true right so now you really know that yes we had an issue with respect to the data types that were used to solve this problem okay i'll do one more variation now i will remove this f so when i remove this f then we are comparing as you know a float with a double so how do we know that how do we you know change some more we can simply go ahead and then try to do a double here right so i am converting the data type or basically i am changing the data type of the variable f as a double now this is a double this is a double this is a double now everything is same there is no loss of precision no loss of you know any data here okay so when you compile this code and then when you run this code you get answer as a true right so overall as a summary for this particular assignment for this particular problem what you are seeing here is you are seeing that 
if we have a data type mismatch and our understanding of uh, the floating point uh, implementation right is not correct then we'll have some different kind of answers okay so i hope you understood uh, the real reason behind why you know we have uh, uh, the original answer as false for the original problem thank you i will see you in another video